Good afternoon, we're back and it's Tuesday. It's beautiful out. I hope you guys have been out and enjoying the weather. That's about the best thing we got going on. Um, God's good to give us such beautiful days to enjoy while we're hanging out with our families at home. So today we're going to do tacos because I can't get enough tacos. I'm missing going to La Fuente's. Um, can't wait to, I know they do carry out and stuff, but it's just not the same. But anyway, so we're going to do, I thought it'd be fun, we're going to do our own Taco Tuesday. I got a taco we're going to draw and paint, and then some fun background ideas to just kind of give a little bit of the, the Mexican food feel like you've gone out for good old tacos for dinner tonight. Actually, we're having leftovers because we got a lot of food in the fridge. I've been cooking every day, and so... Tonight is leftover night. Otherwise, we're gonna be throwing food out. And I don't wanna do that. So we'll get started. We're gonna do our tacos. Are we going? I don't see it on there. Okay. All right. So if you're on here today, you may be out playing right now, but if you're on here, be sure and say hello. I love to hear who's on. Um, Share this with anybody else that might want to do some art. This is not only for kids, but it's also for a great activity for um, even adults, because we all like to paint. Sorry, I gotta get my phone adjusted. I have bigger paper because I ran out of, hang on. My phone's trying to get, there we go. Okay, I, I have bigger this. paper. I know, but I want this bigger one. I guess I could do this one. I'll do this smaller one. I'm going to turn it horizontal direction. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, hi, Aubrey and Isabel. I'm glad you're doing art with me. I've missed you girls at school. Are you guys enjoying your time off, though? And hey, Dylan. Welcome back. We're going to do tacos. So, um, yeah. I don't know what all kinds of stuff you like on tacos. I, oh, my, I thought my computer was a touch screen here for a second. So we'll see um, what you guys put on your tacos. But I got some other fun things we're going to do around it. So we don't want to make our taco super big because we're going to do some other things um, around our taco. So we got our Sharpie and our heavy our heavy a little bit heavier paper because we're going to use watercolor and so anyways so we are going to put our hand right in the middle of the paper that's where you're going to want your taco to be so what your space i know you've got littler hands than me so you may um not take up as much room which is fine so we got our hand and we're about where your wrist is. If your hand's right in the middle is where we're going to start. So if you just think about where your wrist is at, this is where we're going to start, okay? So we are going to, I'm up just a little above the halfway point, and I'm going to make the letter U. But I'm going to make the top of it going out, and I'm going to start going up towards the top right corner. So this is the letter U. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a big hill. And I'm gonna go up towards the top corner and then I'm gonna round it back down and I'm gonna point right down towards the bottom right corner. And I'm gonna stop about the same place where my U, the bottom of my, my U is. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a line from the bottom of this curve and I'm just gonna go right across, doesn't have to be straight, and I'm gonna connect that. So this top of this U where we started, I wanna make it curve up towards the top right just a little bit, but I'm not gonna go very far because we gotta put all the toppings in our taco. So I just curved it over, and I'm pointing that way towards that corner and then I stop. So we have all this space here that we're gonna put our toppings um, inside of our taco. Now, um, ground beef is typically what's in a taco. You could have chicken in a taco, It'd be chicken pieces or whatever. 
but I'm just going to make patterns to make it look like it's ground beef. So ground beef is little pieces, almost like little circles. And I don't want it too full. So I'm going to let it start over on this side, but I'm just going to make a bunch of different shapes, not really circles, but just different, you'd call them organic shapes. So not any sort of a pattern that you would keep doing over and over. You're just making a bunch of shapes and I'm connecting them. I'm not going to go clear over to this line, the very first line, because a little bit of the taco shell is going to show there. Now, I don't know, maybe we need to fill our tacos to where they're running out. Usually that's what happens. So I'm coming right down towards the bottom with all my ground beef in there. So there's my ground beef, okay? Now, if you're good kiddos, um, you'd be putting salad, or that's what Caden would call it, salad on your tacos, or lettuce on your tacos. I said lettuce. Lettuce, you used to call it salad. I don't know, but it's lettuce. Okay, so we're going to add so we're gonna kind of go back and forth. So our lettuce leaves are just gonna be like bigger shapes. So just layer them, go in different directions. And I put little lines in them like a leaf would have. They're sticking out the top because we're piling them veggies on. We need our veggies. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy because I want to get some other things on there too and I don't want to run out of space. So cheese is going to be on there. So you're just going to do long rectangles of cheese sticking out different places, okay? Just long rectangles. I can hear our cat sleeping. He's not really, I guess cat snores maybe are different than people snores, but I can hear him sleeping. Where? He's on that chair. Okay, so lots of rectangles for our cheese. They can go between and behind. Just kind of wherever you want your cheese, you can put some pieces on top of your lettuce. Try not to make my lines cross too much since we do have Sharpie. So I got my cheese on here. Okay, so now it's gonna get kind of busy, so you're just gonna have to kind of pay attention to where you put in your different things. Um, I want some tomatoes. We love tomatoes on our on our taco. Now you might have some other ideas. Tell me some other things that you might be putting on your on your taco. Um I would like a big old spoon of guacamole on it. So my tomato, I'm going to draw a tomato down here on the table. That This is going to be a table so you can see how a tomato is. That's when I drew behind the cheese, but I want you to get an idea how to make a tomato. The way I'm doing them are like tomato slices. So you make a big smile, a big U, and you go right across, close it in. So now it's a D laying on its tummy. And I'm making another line. So that's the outside of the tomato. And then you can just make some teardrops for the seeds. So that's how I did a tomato. I know in all of this, it may be hard to see. So that's a tomato. Um, I'm gonna have one sticking up here. See, when you get this much stuff in there on your taco, it's hard to tell where all the stuff is so you're just going to have to layer it on there best you can then when we paint it we're going to have to really think about what our different shapes are on here so i got all my little tomatoes tucked in now i may want to go ahead and put a couple pieces of lettuce to fill in the back of this OK, 
Okay, before we paint, we got some more fun stuff we're gonna do. Um, so, so I've got my ground beef down here. And then I got lettuce leaves in there. And then I got my cheese rectangles going all through here. on here all right here's here's where we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this um I'm going to draw let's see do I have room I'm gonna make a hot pepper I know you kids probably don't eat hot peppers I usually don't eat them by themselves but I just thought it'd be fun to do so I'm going to make um Sorry, I'm trying to think how to do this. I'm gonna, just underneath my top, it's gonna be on my plate. So I'm gonna curve up a little bit. I'm gonna come down and I, it comes down, it's like curving out and then I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna come back to where I started. I'm gonna curve the other way. And then I made it curve and kind of connect. So it gets smaller. Now I'm gonna put a couple I don't think peppers really have leaves up there, but anyways, I put a stem on the end. It'll just be fun to paint. So that's a jalapeno pepper. I just wanted a couple things to do on there. So now, okay, so we're gonna add, Caden, you knew exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna put a plate. So we're gonna make it on a plate. So the plate, you can't see the whole plate. So it's not like I'm looking straight down at it. I'm kind of looking at the side. So from the side of my taco, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna curve out and I'm gonna go below my food that I made. And I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna connect it right back in and try to get at the same spot that I went out. Now my plate's gonna have a little bit of an edge on it. So I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna do this again. Okay, and now um, Aubrey and Isabel, you're, or did Isabel do this? We did the cupcakes. Do you guys remember when we did um, the, we separated the table from the wall. So now I'm gonna go a straight line out on each side. I can make a straight line of my taco in the same spot. Okay, so this is where my taco's setting on the table, and this is my my um, my wall. But this is where I wanted to do something kind of fun. Let's see here. I want to, the wallpaper is going to be, um, the wallpaper is going to be like cactuses on it. So I'm gonna just make a bunch of cactuses on my on my wallpaper. So I'm gonna start with a long bump. And then I'm just gonna make little cactus arm going out one side and a little cactus arm going out the other. And I'm just gonna repeat that in a bunch of places. You could put some stripes down it if you wanted you can these are kind of little but you could put little itty bitty lines on it to make it look like the little thorns in the cactus okay so now i'm going to just keep repeating this over and over so it's like wallpaper cactus wallpaper and then i'll have fun painting it You could make different kinds of cactus. They don't all have to be the same. I got some showing behind my taco here. And off the edge of my paper.
This should be Cinco de Mayo painting. It'd be a good painting for May 5th. What's May 5th? That's called Cinco de Mayo. It's a holiday that the, they have in Mexico, I think. I don't know. It's just one that everybody goes and eats tacos. It's the call it Cinco de Mayo, it's the 5th of May. Hopefully by then we'll be done being, oh, Sarah, awesome, you put flowers on some? That's a good idea. Flowers on your cactus. Oh, you did sombreros, good job, Kaden. Kaden did sombrero wallpaper. I have some pictures here that we're kind of looking at for reference and ideas. And there was some burros and a guitar and a chili pepper and some maracas and a pinata. All kinds of fun things. Hmm. So many sombreros. I like sombreros. I like that picture that sombrero, sombrero would have been a fun one to do. Okay, so let's see. On the, on the um, tablecloth, I'm going to make a pattern. So I'll paint it different colors. Now you can make your stripe, your pattern going any way. I'm just going to just do lines and stripes. So then when I paint it, I forgot we were going to write on this, weren't we? I forgot I was going to show you guys some lettering. I promised you that yesterday, if you heard. Um, and I probably just used the only space that I had to do it. You want me to use mine? Yeah, I guess I could do it on Cadence. Do you want me to write it and then you can make your stripes around it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause here, switch papers, because he's got room on his. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to do a little bit of the... Thank you, Sarah. I think this is a fun one too. Okay, so let me show you. I'm gonna just write um, Taco Tuesday in just some modern calligraphy. So, let's see. So we're gonna start. And I try to, I, I took me a long time. I try to do each letter one at a time and then I connect them. Okay, what am I doing? I'm not even writing taco. I'm getting ready to write the. I'm not here. I'm thinking and not even writing. Okay, well that looks like an awesome H. So I just messed that one up. Can you make that into some design, Caden? Mm -hmm. Let's do this again. Okay, let me think what I'm doing here. Taco T A C O. So you make all your down strokes or your wide strokes. So you can go back, you can go back and make all the down strokes and add the other line and then you can go color it all in. You can do it like that or you can do one letter at a time. I usually just do it all at one time. We need to cross our T on this. I finished your wavy ones. Okay, thank you. It does help if you already knew ahead of time that you were gonna letter on your paper. If you want, you can practice on another sheet of paper. I totally ran out of space here. I put some you wanna color them in or do you want me to? You can. I put some cactus. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to watercolor here in just a second. That 
could be like a writing on the table. It could be like the placemat where they have the the menu. Mm -hmm. Taco Tuesday specials. All you can eat tacos. Oh, I hated that one taco place. You did. Oh. The lost tools. It's the lost turtles. The lost turtles. All right. All right, so you're welcome, Jennifer. Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple, I'm gonna put some straight lines in between my wavy lines here, Kaden. Okay. And I'm gonna do some circles. Okay. All right. I'm ready to paint. This is, I almost get to a point where it's like I can't go quick enough. You wrote tacos are awesome. Yay, tacos. Sarah, that's awesome. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to start with my taco shell. They're made with corn, so they're a little on the yellow. Let's see if I can get some yellow here without it being too dark with all my colors mixed up okay so here's my taco shell I'm doing my lettuce. you're doing your lettuce I, i'm gonna have to use a smaller brush when you're painting really small things remember again if you haven't done watercolor with me yet um when you're doing um, different colors and you don't want them to blend together or bleed together, make sure it's dry beside where you're painting. So sometimes I'll just go to a whole different area to make sure it's dry because if the colors touch, then you'll end up, it'll just all bleed together. So let it dry. If you get too much water on your paper, you can also, um, you can take your paper towel and dab it up just a little bit. So that way it doesn't get your paper too wet. You want to definitely get your paints, your water, if you're using watercolors in trays like this, you definitely want to get the paint really wet inside the paint cakes. That way your colors are really vibrant and then you don't have to use as much paint on your brush or as much water. Now if I can find all my, whoops, I'm gonna have to turn my paper because my hand's gonna be in it. Find all my different things that I drew my tomatoes in here. Now it's kind of like a picture search. Oh, yeah. Again, let me remind, remind you guys if you're if you're enjoying this, make sure you share it um, with anybody else that you think would like doing some art lessons. Um, comments always help. Knowing that you're there, say hello. If you're watching the replay, I still love to hear from you. You can always share your pictures with me because I'd love to see those too. I love seeing everybody's pictures when they're done. I'm making a really fiery hot pepper here. I have lots of beef. You got lots of beef on yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to do my cheese. The cheese we like is white, but I'm going to, just because of the color, I'm going to make mine yellow. Yeah, it's going to be yellow. That's too yellow. Now beef. I don't know how much beef I have. 
Tomorrow we're going to do an Easter bunny. Um, so usually I've done Easter bunny with acrylic for my art classes and stuff. But tomorrow we're just going to do watercolor. So we'll have fun doing a cute little Easter bunny picture. So make sure you let your friends know if they want to paint along. All the videos are available for you to watch later too, so you don't have to think this is the last chance. Because they're still on my page for now. Alright, I'm ready for some green color on this. I'm making my plate green. Making the plate. I thought about making my plate green too. Let me get my hamburger though. Your hamburger. My ground beef. I could have made a design on our plate. Now for the fun green. So you can make green if you're using mixing colors. I don't know if anybody has the mixing colors. That's what Why I use when I teach. And orange hot chili pepper. Mm -hmm. So there's yellow and blue that make green. Also black and yellow will make green too. It's just a little more of a just a more of a spring green color. I don't know how to describe it. Kind well, of an olive green. What's the Mexican flag color? Um, Isn't it green, white, and red? Probably. I'm not sure. But anyways, you can just do different shades of green for your lettuce too. Aubrey and Isabel, when you guys are done with your picture, I'd love to see it. And Dylan, yours too. I'd like to see what kind of creative ideas you guys all come up with. Man, this is going to make me want to not have leftovers tonight and have tacos. But nope, we're having leftovers. Guess we could have done a leftover painting. Everybody paint what's in your fridge. See, Mom, look at my um, uh, stuff. Huh? My Oh, very good. Looks like you made an ad or your own ad for a Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. Did you paint your stem on your pepper? Sarah, you're Peyton. Oh, I got it. 
You put sauce on your taco? Hey, Peyton. Welcome. Sorry, I was calling you Sarah. I didn't know that. But anyways, that's awesome. Share your picture when you're done. How old are you, Peyton? How old are you? And then I'm also going to ask, have you done painting classes with me? I don't know if you have or not. I'm sorry I'm bad about always remembering everybody that's painted with me. Oh, you did cactuses up here at the top. I didn't do that, did I? No. Good job. I'm not having orange hats. You're nine. You're I'm glad you're on painting with me. How's school going for you? Sorry, you're busy painting. You don't want to be answering questions. You have not painted with me before. Well, this is what I do with kids, but we do a lot of acrylic. Um, we don't usually do watercolor. Although there's a couple girls on here, so I um, am an art teacher over at a private school close to where we live. And so there's a couple girls on here that take art from me there, and we do watercolor frequently there. We don't paint with acrylic. We tried it once, but just the setup wasn't too easy to try to be able to paint with acrylics and have it dry in time for the next class. But I do teach kids art all the time and grown-ups art because everybody likes art. All right, now. And then this is Caden that's painting with us, and he is... Um, he's 12. I was getting ready to say he was 7. But he's not 7. We did a very current day outlet, not from outlets, what I'm still used to. We usually have, we don't have, you got the USB plug in for it and everything. No, that's like the reset. And oh, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a tan. So lots of bright colors if you did a tablecloth or whatever. They... Mexican restaurants have lots of bright colors in them. Look at mine. I'm done. I love it, Kaden. Are you going to paint the wall? You did good. No, I like my white wall. Okay. And I like I your white like wall, too. Until the kids put their dirty hands all over your white wall, then there's fingerprints, but that's okay. And I did my table legs. Um, you got table legs and everything. Good deal. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Are you going out to play now? Yeah. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with Mom and painting with us. We'll be back tomorrow. It's hard to want to be inside right now when it is so nice out. But I like art, so I will take time to paint
hear the birds singing. bigger brush. If you get a bigger area of paint, bigger open areas, it makes it easier if you just grab a bigger brush instead of trying to use too small of a brush on a big area. Otherwise, you're painting a lot, takes a lot longer than it needs to. So it's good to have the right size brush for what you're doing. So Caden's been doing art with me since he was almost four. He was three when I started my pieces of my art business um, when he was, it was fall and his birthday's December. So he was about a little over three and a half. And I just had a few students and they were all preschool age. So they hadn't started school yet. And we would do art in my basement. And we did a lot of watercolor. We did acrylic. We learned to draw. And it was so much fun. I would do classes at my house. Grabbing a different yellow than what's in that one because that one's getting all green. Now, I'm kind of going fast on this, so if my paint's wet and I touch it with the other color, like, I don't know if you can see on that, my purple went up into my orange there. I'm gonna let these dry and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna paint my wallpaper. And I have a certain color. I'm gonna do my wallpaper if I can make it on here. Not that brown. Maybe two. Let me see if I can get. I want it light. Let's see if this is a color I want. Nope. Well, no, I just made my white dirty. Kind of, sort of, this color. It's probably a little. Not quite as bright as I'd like to have it, but it's supposed to be kind of a peach color. Kind of a pinkish peach. Just paint careful around my little cactuses. Mixing up that white really good because I need it and I'm using it to make my paint just a little lighter. But when I'm done, if I don't clean out my white, if you do it when it's wet, you can just take a paper towel and wipe it out and it keeps it cleaner. But if I don't, then that color will dry in it and it's just a little more work to try to get it clean again.
Also, a little water will help lighten up some too. Again, you don't want to get your paper too wet, but you can use water to just kind of soften out your colors if you want them lighter. And I spread it around really good because now my paper is a lot wetter. Oh, there was a cactus behind my taco here. I forgot to paint it. Get that really quick. And I need a color for my plate. Sorry. Yeah, Dad? I had this check ready to re Okay. Caden's out there. I'm still doing my class if you want him yeah. to take it out. I'm still doing my class. Caden can take it out to the mailbox for you. Okay. He's outside. Caden, you want to mail that letter for Grandpa? Yeah. Please come over to the door so he sees you're there. Okay. He's coming, Dad. He'll come get it. Well, I just got that one spread that green on there. Because I just painted my cactus green and it just got bled the green out. So this is what I'll do is I'll just take my paper towel and I'll dab it up and it just takes the paint off a little bit before it dries. It won't if it's still wet. And then I can put it back on there once that cactus is dry. I'm gonna call this color Adobe Pink. Do you ever wish you had the job of naming colors? I mean, who got to name all the Crayola colors? Now I am painting super fast. You can always take your time when you're going around all your lines here. I just don't want to keep you all on here longer than we need to. And I think most everybody's out enjoying the beautiful weather today, but thanks for the ones that are hanging out. Like I said, if you don't get it finished or if you want to do other ones that you haven't done, they're all under my video section on my page. This is, I think, number 10. We've done 10 already. So you got plenty of painting videos if you haven't done them all. Where's Grandpa? Oh, I'm sure he went back in his room, Kaden. Did you find the letter? No. It's setting up on the wall. Make sure it gets to put the flag up, okay? Thank you. Anyways, okay, we need a plate. La Fuentes, their plates are all different colors. I'm trying to think what color, and I also haven't painted the bottom stripes. Let's see, let's do, we're gonna do red at the very bottom. We need some hot red going on, going through here. That looks too orange. Nice bright colors. Um, I did those circles. I'm gonna just paint right over top of these circles and then when it dries I can add a different darker color. Now if I wanted to go lighter I would have to paint around them but I can do darker over them. And I need to figure out a color for my plate. I know, I just thought of it. Blue. And I'm going to use this blue over here because I really don't have space to mix blue. 
So I'm just going to use this one. Because I haven't used this yet. using a little bit more water on the inside so it just makes it a little bit lighter shade. It's the same blue, but just a little more water so it makes my color not quite as bright. And when watercolors dry, they all dry a little bit lighter. So like if you are painting with black, sometimes if you get it really wet, it looks really dark and black, but then when it dries, it looks more of a gray, gray color. Okay, I cut one more thing I'm gonna do. So I'm going to take, I want my, my um, taco to have a little bit of a shade shadow under it. I'm just doing a little bit darker blue under that. A little bit darker blue under my tomato. Under my pepper. And you could even go a little bit of a shadow under your plate too, if you wanted to. Just adding a purple or a darker blue color underneath all that. All right, there it is, Taco Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out, Sarah. Thanks for, or not Sarah, Peyton, let's see. Peyton, thanks for coming and painting with us. And Jennifer, thank you for being here again. I'm um, trying to see who else. Anybody else? Cheryl, thank you for having Aubrey and Isabel join. And Dylan, thank you for painting with us again. So you guys all enjoy your afternoon. I can't wait to see your pictures. And, and we will be back tomorrow doing some bunny, bunny rabbit paintings. We'll see you soon.